See, look, she started crying already. Yeah, guys, today is the day she's going back to the Philippines. You have to have guts to want to be in an LDR, to be in a long distance relationship. It doesn't work for everyone. Those are the things that we are. But then. Please like, subscribe, and share. Hey, my amazing people, how are you guys doing? Uh, I hope I pray you guys are taking good care of yourselves. As for us, Arlene and myself, today is not such a good day today. See, look, she started crying already. Yeah, guys, today is the day she's going back to the Philippines. Our stay here, 89 days, 87 days, has come to an end. That was so fast. Are we gonna go back to LDR, go back to long distance relationship for a while? It's not so easy. Yeah. And um, we're, not, we're not so kinda happy, kinda more saddy, saddy a bit. Let me tell you something guys. LDR relationships are not easy. You have to have guts. To want to be in an LDR, to be in a long distance relationship, it doesn't work for everyone. Uh huh. Yeah, but how? What was? What have we done to be in this relationship or to be in this we, situation that long? Even if we are so far from each other, uh, we stuck our guns, we stuck our feet. You know, we stuck there, and we make commitments to each other. And we saw them through. Yeah, and everyone, not not everyone believed in our relationship the first time. No, 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 right? no. We had a lot of people against us. Yeah. It's not about like against, be, uh, not believing that we can be together because of the the distance that we have. Because not everyone believed that long distance relationship works. That you can't. You can't love a person from a distance or you cannot show your love, you cannot show your care if you are not physically together. So it takes a, really a lot of... It takes guts. A lot it takes of commitment. Commitment, a lot of patience, a lot of respect for the two of us, for each other. So for as long as Some I guess you have that respect the respect to your relationship the respect to the person you are in a relationship with so some of our ingredients uh, communication honesty trust um, and making sure that we call each other almost every single day there were times when there were ups and downs there were times when we had fights there were times when we quarreled <laughs> But we always tell each other we will always solve our problems before the day ends and that's what we always did and it, it really really is hard you know people even ask me how can you trust her so many thousands of miles away do you know if she's as another guy how do you know she is not who she said she is how do you know she is a, a different picture for a different person. How do you, how can you answer all those questions? How do you know she would cheat, cheat on you? Well guys, let me tell you something. If you have, you can have someone in your own country. You can have a girlfriend living right in the next street from your street. And she can still cheat on you if she wants to cheat on you. So, it's, it's about trust and honesty. It's, for me, that's what it comes down to. And the respect, love. And the respect, yeah. You can have a girlfriend living next neighborhood from you and then she'll, be, then she'll have a guy or, or cheat on you and what can you do about it, right? So, the sad thing for us is that we're going back to it now and we have been together for physically for what? Three months plus one, six, seven months total of the 13 years with each other. We've been together physically for seven, eight months. And it's like if we've been with each other for many years, it's not... No strange, strange things that we can say about each other. But 
you're going back home now. Yeah. The going end, back home. It the was end of this journey. It's an emotional like parting, parting ways like uh, leaving him here. Um, it's it's a difficult part. It's hard. I I I'm crying like most of the time this week when I said goodbye to the kids. I got I got connected with them for for the short time that I've been um, volunteering in school. So yeah, she's so emotional. She cries really so easily. Really made me so emotional. <laughs> I'll be flying in a few hours. It will be a long, long travel going home. Today is Tuesday, 1.13 in the afternoon. So, be I'll be home. arriving in uh, the Philippines evening of uh, Thursday. Thursday. And um, I'll be home in people Friday. So, it will be a long travel. Then I'll be already reporting back to work Follow this me. week. <laughs> This week, so but it's Holy Week in the Philippines now. So. Yeah, it's Holy Week now. So anyway, guys, she there she goes. Hard to let her go. Hard to send her away. Yeah, I'm having an eye box for. But we have no choice. Up. We have no choice this time. We will be back together again. So just keep praying and trusting in the Lord, and He knows what's best. Yeah. And He knows why these events happen the way they do. And you know me, right? I have always faith and trust and I always think positive. And we are That's working towards our goal. Yeah. The goal for... We're working towards our goal now. The, the goal to be together. To be together. Not, not anymore in a long distance relationship. So we are working towards that. So for the meantime, so... Craig will be here in Suriname. Continue with... Uh, this work with the life with mom and uh, with everyone here and uh, I'll be going back to the Philippines go back with go back to my work so guys think twice think carefully if you want to start a long distance relationship if you're not gonna be like persistent in the things you do together online like talking every day and communicating every day being there for each other every day respecting each other then don't don't start it don't do it because it's not easy it's a hard 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 journey but for it's us not, to get here but it's not about complacency like we we become complacent that LDR works so you really have to work towards like the life of uh, Two of you finally to be together for for your whole life so we are working towards that so whatever will be if it's in the Philippines or if it's here for as long as we are together that would be and there are activities we did online like we play games online online with each other you know we had times when we had discussion times when we talk about things we didn't like about you know about each other things we can improve about ourselves so you have to make it exciting you have to make it want it to work you, uh, you, you have to commit to it commit to it and say we're gonna see this through if not don't start it guys i'm telling you yeah i'll be missing the care the care of, of greg what he does every day before we leave home to to always show his care, his love to me, not just in words, but by his actions. So those are the things that we are. But then, okay, guys, we're almost at the airport. Mm -hmm. Checking online already, so let's see what the airport looks like. Yeah, our international airport of Suriname. At least it's well kept. Say much for the people keeping up, of keeping this airport. Oops, 
Oops, oops. So remember, the KLM is, I don't think it came in as yet. It's, it's on its way coming in. So you see how it's busy? Love? Here you have the arrival section. Sorry, a lot of people there, I can see from the parking. Okay. For Trek departure, I will get you a trolley. I'll put your bags there. You wait for me while I go park the car. Oh, it's not so busy. As yet, I thought it was busy. Hey guys, so Arlene has just checked in. I couldn't have video that part because uh, I got the privilege to go all the way in with her to the Bali to help her to her bags. I didn't want to spoil it for myself. She checked in, uh, okay, no problem. She was well within the weight limits. As you can see straight across there, that's where you have to go in to check into the airport. And um, you come walk down inside you can't come back outside and in here is the immigration hall so she's in here right now so i'm just hanging around to make sure that she have no problems with immigration which i don't think she should and then uh, we'll see from there there comes arlene's plane klm 777-300 my favorite plane that's the plane she's gonna go back with just touched down. Immigration. I saw a nuclear immigration. Nuclear customs, okay? Security. Very good. Yeah, look out. Look, yeah, look. You have to go around toward, toward, towards your left. Look, your plane just came in. You saw it? Look, it's an orange yellow plane. Look, it just landed. You should be able to see it. See when they start falling in line, love. Can you not see your plane? Yeah, there's only one plane going out right now, so that's the one you're going with, right? So, wherever the gate is, yeah, exactly, yeah. The orange, um, blue, yeah, that's your plane you're going back with. So, the plane is about to take off. Next stop. Schiphol, Amsterdam. orange painted in front and the blue at the back I was hoping to fly in this plane the last time I went to Amsterdam but I think I haven't gotten the chances yet have a safe flight love see you soon
she goes. I love. Have a safe flight. See you soon. So Arlene's plane just took off, heading towards Amsterdam, and we are back into an LDR, long distance relationship. It's not easy guys, it's not easy, it takes a lot of patience, it takes a lot of patience, and a lot of courage and trust and honesty and respect. But uh, God knows best and everything is in His control. Hopefully we are together soon again and we can work out all the details and see what's next. So guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to drive back to Par Marble now. Please like and share and for sure I'll catch you guys in the other video. Thank you guys for always your support. Bye for now guys. God bless.